today's tutorial I will show you how to examine the ankle joint. Hi, my name is Jakub. In today's video I will guide you through the basic examination protocol of the ankle. I will show you where to look for joint fluid and how to identify soft tissue structures around the ankle. We will examine the ankle from four different views – anterior, medial, lateral and posterior. The examination begins with the anterior view. In the transverse plane, the talus is visible with a thin anechoic layer representing the cartilage. Superficial to the talus from the medial side, we can observe the tibialis anterior tendon, the extensor hallucis longus tendon and muscle, and the extensor digitorum longus tendons. These tendons can be traced both distally and proximally. Another structure visible in this view is the dorsalis pedis artery. When we rotate the probe 90 degrees into the longitudinal plane, we can assess the tibiotalar joint. In this view, the tibia, talus, talar cartilage and fat pad are visible. This area is a potential space where joint fluid may accumulate. Next view is the medial view. When we place the probe posterior to the medial malleolus in the transverse plane, we can evaluate several structures. The tibialis posterior tendon, the flexor digitorum longus tendon and muscle, the posterior tibial artery and vein, the tibial nerve and the flexor hallucis longus tendon and muscle. Next view is the lateral view. When we place the probe anterior to the lateral malleolus in the transverse plane, we can evaluate the anterior talofibular ligament, the most commonly injured ankle ligament, which lies between the fibula and the talus. And the last view is the posterior view. In the transverse plane, we can assess the Achilles tendon in its short axis. Below the Achilles tendon, the Kager's fat pad is visible. As we follow the tendon proximally, we can identify the individual muscles of the triceps surae. The soleus, gastrocnemius medialis and gastrocnemius lateralis. When we rotate the probe 90 degrees into the longitudinal plane, we can assess the Achilles tendon in its long axis and its insertion on the calcaneus. Proximally, we can follow the tendon to its myotendinous junction, a common site for ruptures of the gastrocnemius medialis muscle. And that's it! You have now learned the basic ultrasound examination protocol of the ankle. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and if so, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.